Hello and welcome to Gigat Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we look how to simulate fish eye lenses. And the original that lens was designed to have a wider area to um, take images of the sky and clouds for observation. But people find another nice use for this as artistic way to presentation, or maybe if you do projection on um, a sphere type type surfaces and you want to have it like 360 degrees overview anyway um here's a couple tricks inside natively inside the view we have it um ability to change focal lenses for our camera and by changing we can increase or decrease the surface that we render in our main camera or other cameras so how much we see here's a couple things let's uh, create um cube I'll stretch so we'll have it wider area and I want to show you what is different between some of those settings and okay we'll drop down we'll go ahead edit we'll add ecosystem and let's add object and I'll just add object called pillar okay couple things I want uh, modify okay let's see right here our main camera okay so if we use a default of uh, camera it will set to 35 millimeters which is actually um, looking as a wide angle and why we call wide or a telephoto or other things our normal vision approximately 50 55 millimeters so this is how much when we see when we look with our normal eyes when we have it more area to observe it's a wider than our normal vision our point of reference so we call this wide angle and when we're nearer to a specific object we can change to uh what they call telephoto or kind of zoom in to specific area and you can notice right here we are rendering close up on this this point right here and you can notice on our um, in a view in a, any render angle top or side you notice by the camera we have this angle which is representing what is range will be um, rendered by our camera how much um, the camera will capture of specific area okay so it's angle let's go to make it a bit more wider and by using slider you can go up to eight millimeters, but you always can type in. So I and the maximum that or minimum that uh, view allowed is one millimeter. You can also even type minus one hundred, but a when you go back, it's already set back to one millimeter. At this point, you notice right now we have a very big angle available, so we view almost right here almost parallel to our camera you can see right here very wide area we're rendering the problem when you start doing with this you start having um, some distortions and of course then through the application we have some compensation so it doesn't look um, that bad but in a fish eye is actually what you're working more with the distortions on the edge so let me just go ahead um, bring maybe and I'll show what I mean by distortions. Okay, here we parallel, we we'll take our camera just slightly tilted. Okay, and you notice right here we start having angles kind of more distortions, but not as much as fish eye uh, kind of compressing on a side. And I'll show you in a second when we'll start simulating. So to simulate this, it's actually much easier. Let's take our camera. Next, what we're going to do, it's creating a sphere. Okay, we'll take this sphere, place the front of the camera. Okay, just be sure it's positioned here. Next, what I'm going, it's assign mirror material. So we'll use this material. It will be rendering a reflection and it will be simulating kind of like fish eye look for us. So next we need to modify a little bit this material one what i want to do 
it is be sure we don't have any bumps we'll set default gray we don't need any highlights we'll go to reflection and be sure it's set to 100 percent as effects we'll go to increase contrast all the way and right here i want to disable receive or cast shadows so let's click ok next to when is sphere is selected we're going and link it to our main camera and the point is now when i start manipulating or rotating our camera our sphere it will rotate with the camera so i'm placing right turn around and because we're working with reflection we actually need point camera away from the area i want to render as well a um, couple other th things on a camera uh, you can adjust um okay, let me go ahead right here you can adjust your focal um if you like it but i found out about 25 30 which is a better one for this so let's go ahead and render this point and you can see right here we have a truly fish eye distortion start receiving so right here on the angle there are um, big withdraw with this type of simulation in the view it is rendering time because it's a work with reflections you start having um significant time increasing in this and you have a couple ways you actually can um kind of minimize your time you can go inside your render options user settings we'll go inside um the effect quality and right here with the photons you can and uh, gaussian you can actually decrease uh tracing levels a little bit down so that will decrease a little bit level uh time so for example if you set even five and five it will decrease how many uh, times the light will bounce it so that will decrease uh, some time as well some other settings you can modify here like um trace reflection you can set the lower level of how many times it will actually reflect all materials so in this case for example set to two you will lose some quality of course but um it's a price to pay quality or speed of rendering okay so here's a few tips and again uh, you can play around and let me know if you um find more interesting way to create just email and we'll be happy to put your tips and tricks how you can simulate or uh, create other ways of fish islands thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please remember to visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com